Good morning. It's 10, 10 a.m. And I've got to go to the post office and mail my sister's package, my brother's package, two brothers, three. Oh, I don't know how many. Anyway, <laughs> a lot <laughs> of little things. Um, oh. <laughs> I am doing this uh, thing called Glow as a side uh, thing on the computer, and I still look horrible. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> anyway, um, so still looking for a place. Um, Everything's really expensive. <laughs> I told you, a five-bedroom tent at one of the national parks, the federal parks, would have worked. It just would have worked. Get a snowblower and blow around. <laughs> oh, my. Anyway. I'm just a little too rugged sometimes. <laughs> Of course, I don't know if my health could take it either, but, you know, if you saw this tent, it would just blow your mind. It's got two stacks, one for um, a KP, you know. Well, you can cook inside this tent. It's, it, it's cool. And the other one for um, a wood-burning stove, you know, for heat. And it's, like, uh, freaking amazing. And, you know, it's... <sighs> It, it, it's just huge. It, a five bedroom tent. <laughs> I was like, wow, I can make that rather cute. <laughs> Until the trees started dropping snow on top of it. <laughs> and it would be probably a problem. But anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to set some Christmas packages today and. Uh, work on my Christmas cards. Now, I know a lot of you probably don't like getting Christmas cards because you might feel like you have to send one back. <laughs> and it dawned on me that might be the reason. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas and you just celebrate life, I can send you a celebrate life card. <laughs> just, you know, a happy winter card. You know, it's a way to connect for me just to tell you that I do appreciate you. And, I mean, please, <laughs> in a PM, you know, I don't stalk. I just, you know, sign my name or put something nice down or a cat paw. <laughs> put the cat, the cat's paw into ink, you know, <laughs> stamp it on. <laughs> I could always do that, you know. The dog, dog doesn't care for that. They've got big tootsies. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Moose just goes in the backyard, just rolls around on the leaves, and oh, that dog, uh, the new few with his long hair, he walks the house, and I swear, hair just <laughs> drops off of his body. He has so much that you know everybody loses their hair. Right, you know, you, you shed all the time. He sheds all the time. <laughs> you vacuum and it looks like you haven't vacuumed at all, ever. <laughs> you can make a, another puppy, maybe a few puppies out of just his hair. Anyway. So, anyway, uh, I'm looking at a couple houses in, in Missouri. And... Uh, property here in Washington State and then there's another place in um, hello <laughs> in Tennessee um, you know I, I'm just looking all over preferably you gotta laugh but maybe you won't laugh uh, I'd like to live um, near Yellowstone Park and um, 
it's kind of like my interest, you know. I live in a state right now where there's a lot of interest for me. Um, we've got crystal mines. We've got lots of activity. Uh, most of our volcanoes are not sleeping. They're awake. They just don't make too much noise. And it's gorgeous here. I mean, it's green and it's just stunning. It's we've got wetlands, no Thomas. We've got it's cat. <laughs> we've got wetlands. We've got places that you just can walk to, and you're in. You're just in a wetland or in the woods or there's there's animals everywhere. But that reminds me, we've got a new herd. Uh, here of deer. Now, I never have the my phone ready, <laughs> or even with me, you know, when they're crossing. But got a young buck, and he was <laughs> behind my fence, eating a bush, and all you see is the bush go. <laughs> see his little antlers. <laughs> I said, <laughs> it was like, oh no. Anyway, the dogs were going crazy, and that deer could have cared less. It was going to eat its veggies. He didn't care what anybody thought. Well, the herd I've heard from other um, people is like huge, anywhere from, I don't know, they said there was about 12 in it. That's a pretty good size herd um, of deer. Now, I think I've told you about Squim, Washington, and they have lights that when you're driving down the road, you get close to deer crossing, it starts flashing only when there's deer close by. Only. And that means for trucks and everybody to slow down. Because when deer tends to hit your car, neither of you survived. It's really a, a serious accident. You might as well get hit by a semi. And the deer too. I mean, it's just, it's horrible. We had a young uh, a person, I don't, yeah, I was a young person, um, down the hill over here at Big Rock, between uh, Big Rock and Big Lake. He was going around the area where there's heavy wildlife, bear and stuff like that. Anyway, a buck, good size one, walked out in front of him and, of course, went right through that kid's window. The way the buck died instead of the kid. And the car couldn't even tell if it was a vehicle anymore. And so, you know, and for those out there... <laughs> You already know this, you know, be careful, you know, there's quite a few out there this year. We have, we have a whole bunch. So in our bear, um, uh, they're totally unreasonable. They're, they're everywhere. It's like all they do is have babies. I don't know if it's a religion or what. <laughs> they're, ah, you can't approach the kid because... If the baby's standing there, you don't see anybody around, the mother bear is probably only a few feet away. She doesn't go very far. And even if she was a few blocks away, all that baby has to do is say hello to you. Baby bears are very sweet. And they don't know who you are. They're totally innocent. And so you get greeted. And, um, yeah. They're precious. They're just, oh my God, woolly. They're just, woo -woo. a mother bear is this big. <laughs> She's like, that's my, woo -woo. <laughs> you're now going to die. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a problem. <laughs> I see baby bears go other way. Hopefully the baby bear doesn't see you because the baby bear does like to be played with. You know, they'll, They'll just talk to you and, you know, do their little baby talk. And, of course, the mother hears them. She knows it's a human. She can smell you. By the way, you should be able to smell the bear. There is no other odor like a bear. You, 
<laughs> I love bear spray. <laughs> Every time I see my friend, let's dunk you. <laughs> Here, put some Paul Mitchell on you. <laughs> Blow dry. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, oh, they, oh, my. It, mm -mm. And cougars are really clean. So, but, but the deer stay out of your yard if you put cougar poop in your garden. But cougars are very clean. Uh, they're a cat. They, typical cat. <laughs> they're coyotes, of course. Are just, you know, they run their five-mile range. And I haven't seen them in a few days, so they're out there, you know. I just want them to keep the rodents down. Uh, they're not the coolest of things. Uh, our water rats are rather huge. It makes you faint. <laughs> it's you don't know if it could be you or the rat, you know. And nine out of ten, if you're standing there without something, the rat's gonna win. <laughs> we call them hood rats. <laughs> Anyway, oh, you know, I'm just babbling. I'm tired. So, anyway. So, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Oh, shut off camera.